Into the hand of Moshe and the children of Yisrael, Yahweh delivered Sehon, king of the Amorri, and all his people and his land. Debarim, Deuteronomy, chapter 3. Then we turned and went up the way to the Bashan, and Og, the king of the Bashan, came out against us, he and all his people, to battle at Hedera'i. And Yahweh said to me, Fear him not, for I have delivered him and all his people and his land into thy hand, and thou shalt do to him as thou didst to Sehon, king of the Amorri, who dwelt at Heshbon. So Yahweh our God delivered into our hand Og also, the king of the Bashan, and all his people, and we smote him until none was left to him remaining. And we took all his cities at that time. There was not a city which we took not from them. Sixty cities, all the region of the Argob, the kingdom of Og in the Bashan. All these were cities fortified with high walls, gates, and bars, besides the unwalled towns a great many. And we devoted them, as we did to Sehorn, king of Heshbon, devoting every inhabited city with the women and the little ones. But all the cattle and the spoil of the cities we took for a prey to ourselves. And we took the land at that time out of the hand of the two kings of the Amorri that were beyond the Yordan from the valley of the Arnon to Mount Hermon, which Hermon the Thedonim call Shirion, and the Amorri call it Shenir. All the cities of the plain, and all Galaad, and all the Bashan, to Selachar, and Edrai, cities of the kingdom of Og, in the Bashan. For only Og, king of the Bashan, remained of the remnant of the Raphaim. Behold, his bedstead was a bedstead of iron. Is it not in Rabbah of the children of Ammon? Nine cubits was the length thereof, and four cubits the breadth of it, after the cubit of a man. And this land we took in possession at that time, from Aroer, which is by the valley of the Arnon, and half the hill country of Galaad, and the cities thereof, gave I to the Rubeni and to the Gaddi. And the rest of Galaad, and all the Bashan, the kingdom of Og, gave I to the half-tribe of Manasseh, all the region of the Argov, even all the Bashan, the same is called a land of Rapaim. Yair, the son of Manasseh, took all the region of Argob to the border of the Geshuri and the Ma'akati, and called them, even the Bashan, after his own name, Hawot Yair, to this day. And I gave Galaad to Machir, and to the Rubeni and to the Gaddi I gave from Galaad even to the valley of the Arnon, the middle of the valley, and the border thereof, even to the river Yabok, which is the border of the children of Ammon, the Araba also, and the Ordan and the border thereof, from Kenurath even to the sea of the Araba, the salt sea, under the slopes of the Pasagar eastward. And I commanded you at that time, saying, Yahweh your God hath given you this land to possess it. Ye shall pass over armed before your brothers, the children of Yisrael, all the men of valour. But your women and your little ones and your cattle, I know that ye have much cattle, shall abide in your cities which I have given you. 
until Yahweh give rest to your brothers as to you, and they also possess the land which Yahweh your God giveth them beyond the Jordan. Then shall ye return every man to his possession which I have given you. And I commanded Yehoshua at that time, saying, Thy eyes have seen all that Yahweh your God hath done to these two kings. So shall Yahweh do to all the kingdoms whither thou goest over. Ye shall not fear them, for Yahweh your God, he it is that fighteth for you. And I besought Yahweh at that time, saying, O Lord Yahweh, Thou hast begun to show thy servant thy greatness and thy strong hand. For what God is there in skies or in earth that can do according to thy works and according to thy mighty acts? Let me go over, I pray thee, and see the good land that is beyond the Ordan, that goodly mountain and the Lebanon. But Yahweh was wroth with me for your sakes, and hearkened not to me. And Yahweh said to me, Let it suffice thee. Speak no more to me of this matter. Get thee up to the top of the Paschar, and lift up thy eyes westward, and northward, and southward, and eastward, and behold with thy eyes for thou shalt not go over this Jordan, but charge Jehoshua, and encourage him, and strengthen him, for he shall go over before this people, and he shall cause them to inherit the land which thou shalt see. So we abode in the valley opposite by the Paror. And now, O Yisrael, hearken to the statutes and to the ordinances which I teach you to do them, that ye may live and go in and possess the land which Yahweh the God of your fathers giveth you. Ye shall not add to the word which I command you, neither shall ye diminish from it, that ye may keep the commands of Yahweh your God, which I command you. Your eyes have seen what Yahweh did because of Baalapagor, for all the men that followed Baalapagor, Yahweh thy God hath destroyed them from the midst of thee. But ye that did cleave to Yahweh your God are alive, every one of you this day.